Greetings, friends. My name is Brett Ballinger. I'm pastor to the people of Prince of Peace Lutheran Church, Marlton, New Jersey. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Here in New Jersey, we've begun our 10th week of our stay-at-home order during the COVID-19 pandemic. And Monday is our day at Prince of Peace to do a video message of an update on our ministry. So I wanted to take a little time just to, to give a little update on some of the ministry that is happening. Not only the online ministries uh, that are happening of worship and gathering for Bible study and uh, book groups and support groups, uh, those kinds of things, and uh, family discipleship practice, all of those things continue to happen. We continue to operate. Uh, the only thing out of our building at this time is our food pantry. And a couple weeks ago, I gave a plea because we had a huge upsurge uh, in participation in the food pantry. So I just wanted to give you an update on that, on as well as a couple other ministries that we're involved in. So you might remember several weeks ago, I had shared that we had 126 people come to the pantry in one week, when normally we're used to, before the pandemic, 20 to 30 people a month. So we had 126 people uh, four weeks ago, and then the following week we had 200 people, and that's when I made the appeal. And uh, the last two weeks then, the following week we had 100, and last week we had 106. Uh, and so we're not quite sure what uh, this week will bring. Every week is a, a new thing. But you heard our call for the need. And we shared with you at that time for us, uh, we give enough food for a family of whatever size that shows up to feed them for about a week. And so it costs about $20 a person for us to do that. And so to keep up with, uh, you know, 200, 200 uh, people a week, um, you know, it's anywhere between three and $4,000 um, if we had to buy the food outright. And so some of you have given cash donations, of which we are extremely thankful. And to date, we have received $20,000 in cash donations to help support our pantry. And then uh, all kinds of in-kind donations. We're still trying to figure out how to calculate the dollar amount on that. But um, our pantry is beginning to be restocked. Uh, and we're beginning to be able to uh, definitely handle the demand at the present moment. And for this, we are so thankful, so thankful to all of our community uh, who has stepped up uh, to help us to feed our neighbor. It's really, really an important ministry. So thank you so much uh, for all that you've done. We continue also to help our uh, partner, a ministry partner in Camden at Bridge of Peace with their food pantry. And so uh, we're delivering uh, some food there as well this week uh, to help them in their ministry. Uh, many of the Lutheran congregations in South Jersey are helping Bridge of Peace uh, with their very urgent need uh, for their food pantry in the city of Camden. Some of you know that uh, this week would have been the week that we host what was Interfaith Hospitality Network. It is now called Family Promise. Uh, it's an organization that helps partner um, faith institutions uh, with uh, families who find themselves homeless and to uh, provide shelter and food. And then uh, the, the organization itself provides other support from finding work, seeking permanent housing, and, variety, and working a variety of other angles to help people who find themselves uh, in uh, homelessness. And this is an incredible time to find you to be yourself homeless with your family. And so we're not able to host people in the church this week. So normally we would have hosted a family this week and hosted the same family next week with our friends at St. Joan's Roman Catholic Church um, covering uh, all of the needed bases. So we're not doing that right now with particular precautions in place. Uh, but what the organization is doing, Family Promise, formerly IHN, is housing people in hotels and then providing them with the needed food. So it costs approximately right now to house a family 800 and feed $850 a week. So we have made a commitment uh, that we will uh, provide $850 uh, for the week that they normally would have spent with us. 
And so at present, we have $600 uh, gathered for that purpose. So we need another 250 to help make um, what we would like to be our commitment uh, to help a particular homeless family this week through the Family Promise Program. Our friends at St. Jones have also um, just sent us a check for $850 to cover their week of support for the family. And we're so thankful for the faithful people uh, there at St. Jones as well. And they sent us also a very nice check for our food pantry um, as well. We continue uh, to, uh, we extended what we call the Easter project where we support families who might have a difficult time providing some just general needs uh, during the spring season. Uh, we do this every year, regardless of pandemic or not. And so uh, we're at the point, at the end of this month of uh, May, we will close that campaign because uh, the season of Easter will uh, conclude with Pentecost. And uh, at the present, we have uh, $575 in that account. And so we provide those families with some gift cards. Um, so that, that campaign is still um, open. Some of you may know that from our campaigns that last year uh, we began a two-year campaign to help uh, take care of a variety of other things, infrastructure around our property, uh, including the property and the building itself. So replacing of windows and air conditioning units and varieties of things like that. So, um, and we've had an incredible support. That uh, project is uh, just shy of $100,000 and uh, we're just about 6,000 short of reaching that goal. Uh, but we're able, and while the building is closed, uh, we're looking forward to getting the windows installed as well as um, the uh, back paneling uh, against the building replaced and uh, shored up with a, a stucco to match the whole rest of the, the building. So we're hoping to make some hay while the building is closed during this time. So we're really um, thankful that uh, we had such, you have been such generous and gracious people prior to this to help make that project move along. Uh, and then the last two things I wanted to mention is uh, some of you know that one of our young people is working on an Eagle Scout project to create a community garden to help our food pantry, as well as others who'd like to help grow their own food on our property. And so all those uh, steps have been approved. I was waiting for a little township uh, certificate and uh, he will begin uh, with uh, proper social distancing and all those things to uh, move forward on that project. So we're thankful and grateful for Tyler and those who have contributed uh, to his project. And it looks like he's almost achieved all of the funds needed to move forward with this garden, which will just be a wonderful sign of hope and. Um, and a, a new way of community uh, with us. Finally, the last thing I wanted to um, invite you to do is council, the governing board of Prince of Peace has begun, is beginning with the process of um, discernment of what it means for us to continue to be the people of God during this time and what it will look like in the months to come as much as we're able. So we've begun this process of discerning uh, through all kinds of material and, uh, and research and uh, varieties of things coming down from the bishop's office and from other places to discern what is um, the way that God is leading us in the uh, months to come. So I ask for your prayers for us. Uh, and so, and especially what I would ask is that you would pray that all of us um, would realize the gifts of the Spirit. That we would continue to have the gifts of the Spirit increased in us, those of love, of joy, of peace, of patience, of kindness, of generosity, of faithfulness, of gentleness, and of self-control. And so I wanted to close just with this reading from scripture about generosity because that gift is truly alive in us at this time, as well as these others. But this gift, um, based on the information I just shared with you, really illustrates how generosity is alive amongst us. And so I wanted to share uh, a quick little passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10 and following. The one who provides seed for the planter and bread for food will also supply and enlarge your store of seed 
and increase your harvests of justice. You will make rich in every way for your generosity, for which we give thanks to God. For the administration of this service not only supplies fully the needs of the holy ones, but also overflows in thanksgiving to God. By offering this service, you prove yourselves, and that makes them give glory to God for the way you obey and profess the gospel of Christ and for your generosity to them and to everyone. And their prayers also show how they are drawn to you because of the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for such an indescribable gift. Thanks be to God indeed for the indescribable gift of generosity that you have lavished upon God's people. God bless you. May you have a good week.